This was in fact the first time myself and the crew at Caravans TV have been to this show. And on the whole, it enjoyed the whole experience, but the legs do take a bashing from the vast amount of walking we did on the day. The hall that was provided for motorhome manufacturers was packed with visitors, as was the main caravan hall. All the big names were there in abundance, giving you ample opportunity to have a good look around and at everything available on the market from the outside as well as on the inside. We was a little disappointed with the outdoor and camping area, which was mainly dominated by the ambiguous pop-up style tent, all looking very much the same, but nonetheless probably worth a look if you're in the market for this type of tent. The boat hall was packed with extremely spectacular looking craft, from small dinghies right up to very large seagoing yachts. One of the things I like most about these types of show is the vast amount of smaller trade suppliers and manufacturers. If you're looking for that special add-on accessory or something to enhance your evening entertainment along with a multitude of smaller but nonetheless just as important smaller items, many at specially reduced show prices, then this was the place to find them. And there's always something for the ladies. It's always nice to see some familiar faces and friends of Caravans TV on some of the trade stands dotted around the periphery of the main halls and walkways. Though there were some faces that looked familiar to me, I just can't quite think where I've seen them before. This year's Boat and Caravan show was well worth the visit.